On November 17, a groundbreaking ceremony for Taiwan's light frigate took place, attended by President Tsai Ing-wen, Defense Minister Chiu Kuo-chang, and others. For those interested in Taiwan's military, the development of Taiwan's frigate has indeed been full of twists and turns. So, what are the capabilities of Taiwan's light patrol frigate? Firstly, let's look at the history of this light frigate in Taiwan. The birth of this warship can be described as a complex process. The initial concept, compared to the current design, has undergone significant changes. The ship's design comes from the American company Gibbs and Cox, which has rich experience in designing and manufacturing naval vessels, including the Perry-class frigate, Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, and the Freedom-class littoral combat ship for the U.S. Navy. Importantly, the company is also responsible for designing the upcoming Constellation-class frigate for the U.S. Navy. Moreover, the company has a history of cooperation with the Republic of China, Taiwan. When the Republic of China successfully built the Chang Kung-class frigate, it signed a $5 million contract with Gibbs and Cox to modify the original design to meet the needs of the Republic of China Navy. This is one of the reasons why Taiwan's new frigate design was quickly produced. Another crucial reason is that Taiwan's new frigate can leverage existing design drawings. If all goes as planned, Taiwan's light frigate has somewhat drawn inspiration from the design of the U.S. Constellation class. An important piece of equipment for this frigate is its radar. When we talk about Aegis ships, we usually refer to ships equipped with the Aegis combat system. According to the article by Zhu Ming, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense has procured a phased array radar from BAE Systems in the UK for its radar system. However, the specific model of the radar is not mentioned in the article. The new frigate will use the CMS-330 Combat Management System and the Artisan Phased Array Radar from BAE Systems. The CMS-330 is developed by Lockheed Martin and has over 25 years of history, being installed on naval vessels in NATO countries, Canada, and others. The highlight is BAE's Artisan Phased Array Radar. Taiwan's choice of this radar is not surprising, as it was also selected for the Kong Ding class frigate's performance improvement project in 2022. In other words, both the future light frigate and the Kong Ding class use the same radar. Firstly, this radar is BAE's mid to low end product, with its high end product being the Sampson radar. While most Aegis ships have four rays, Sampson radar has only two, rotating continuously. This radar has 2,600 elements per array. The latest Type 45 destroyer of the Royal Navy is equipped with this radar. The formal name of the Artisan radar is Type 997, and although it incorporates some technology from the Sampson radar, Artisan is a passive phased array radar. Like Sampson, Artisan is a two-sided rotating array radar, meaning two radar arrays are back-to-back -back on a rotating frame, covered by a carbon fiber radar. This radar can rotate at a speed of 30 revolutions per minute, providing 360-degree coverage. It operates in the S-band. Artisan Radar adopts the signal processing architecture of the active commander radar used by the Royal Air Force. This means that Artisan has the capability to process individual receive beams, aiding in target identification and improving jamming resistance. Artisan Radar currently has three models, 100, 200, and 300, with weights of 730 kg, 760 kg, and 900 kg, respectively. Artisan 300 has an effective detection range of over 200 km. Because Artisan Radar is not very heavy, it can be installed at a higher position on the mast, allowing the radar to better monitor ultra-low altitude and surface targets. Artisan radar can track over 1,000 targets, including airborne targets the size of a tennis ball moving at speeds of up to Mach 3. Its effective detection range is from 20 meters to 200 kilometers. Additionally, Artisan radar uses digital adaptive beam forming technology, providing excellent jamming resistance. Furthermore, a few years ago, the UK enhanced Artisan Radar's tracking performance against ballistic missiles and tested its ability to detect anti-ship ballistic missiles and exercises in 2019. 
In 2013, the Artisan Radar entered service and was equipped on 11 Type 23 patrol frigates, two Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers, and three amphibious assault ships. Brazil and Chile have also introduced this radar. The Royal Navy is incorporating it into the eight next-generation Type 26 patrol frigates they are currently building. Overall, the Artisan Radar is a mature technology with high cost effectiveness, making it an excellent choice for Taiwan's light patrol frigate. Recent photos circulating of a frigate signed by President Tsai Ing-wen show a radar on top of the mast with a rectangular shape, consistent with the appearance of the Artisan Radar. This confirms that Taiwan's adoption of the British Artisan Radar is not baseless speculation. Regarding weaponry, the bow will feature a 76mm main gun and an 8-unit Sung Fong vertical launch system developed by the National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology. This system can launch Taiwan's independently developed Sea Sword 2 anti-air missiles. Production of these missiles started in 2021 with a combat range of 30 to 50 kilometers, a top speed of 2.4 Mach utilizing inertial guidance with data link guidance and active radar guidance. It can carry four missiles per unit, with a total of 32 missiles across eight launch units, showcasing formidable anti-air capabilities. Teamed with the Artisan Radar from the UK, it provides excellent area air defense capabilities. Anti-ship weapons include eight supersonic anti-ship missiles, the Sung Fong 3 mounted midship. This missile, independently developed by Taiwan, has a standard range of 200 kilometers, while the extended range version can reach up to 400 kilometers. In August 2023, the extended range Sung Fong 3 was test fired in a live exercise, hitting targets hundreds of kilometers away. The Sung Fong 3 missile employs a ramjet engine, achieving speeds exceeding 3.5 Mach, capable of sea skimming flight and demonstrating resistance to electronic interference. Its high-explosive warhead, combined with the high speed, delivers significant impact when hitting enemy vessels. The unresolved aspect of the patrol frigate's weaponry is the anti-submarine sonar. According to Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense, four of the eight patrol frigates will be anti-submarine, equipped with anti-submarine sonar systems. Sonar systems come in two types, fixed sonar, where the entire transmit-receive apparatus is on the ship, and towed sonar, where the sonar system is released from the ship and trailed behind, forming a long array. As per reports, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense has not yet decided which type of sonar the future patrol frigates will use, but the prototype will employ towed sonar. Moving on to the crucial aspect of the patrol frigate's power system, in July, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense considered Rolls-Royce's gas turbine and General Electric's LM2500 gas turbine both capable of achieving speeds of over 30 knots. However, in August, based on the latest reports and bidding documents from CSBC Corporation, Taiwan, and Taiwan Shipbuilding, they have chosen the LM2500 gas turbine from General Electric. Choosing this gas turbine is undoubtedly a correct decision. Developed successfully in the 1960s, it was first used in the U.S. Navy's Spruance-class destroyers. Currently, the same engine powers the U.S. Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and Taiwan's Keelung-class destroyers. LM2500 can be considered the world's most widely used and best-performing gas turbine engine. It powers a variety of naval vessels worldwide, including destroyers, cruisers, amphibious assault ships, aircraft carriers, and more. Through the choice of the power system and the ship's tonnage, we can conclude that Taiwan's light frigate will have a top speed of over 30 knots, possibly reaching 32 knots or higher. In today's analysis of various aspects of the patrol frigate, we see that the whole design is carried out by Americans, essentially a scaled-down version of the Constellation-class frigate, with some stealth capabilities. The radar used is the British Artisan Passive Phased Array Radar, offering good performance at a reasonable cost. The power system employs the General Electric LM2500, the world's most powerful gas turbine engine, capable of speeds exceeding 30 knots. The overall combat system is provided by Lockheed Martin, representing advanced and mature technology. 
The primary weapons include Taiwan's independently developed Sung Fong 3 anti ship missiles, Sea Sword 2 anti air missiles, and the Sung Fong vertical launch system. In recent years, Taiwan's international environment has significantly changed, with the UK showing strong support for Taiwan. The British have provided technical assistance for Taiwan's submarine construction. The primary radar system on the Next Generation Frigate is the British BAE Systems Artisan Phased Array Radar. While the U.S. Aegis system is powerful, it is heavy and power-consuming, making it unsuitable for lightweight warships. Therefore, the British Artisan Radar has become Taiwan's best choice. As early as the mid-2010s, the UK expressed its intention to export mine-hunting vessel technology to Taiwan and even considered selling active phased array radars. Last year, the U.S. Navy actively briefed Taiwan on a certain British-made ship-borne anti-aircraft missile system, providing a reference for Taiwan's future military development. It can be anticipated that in the coming years, both the U.S. and the U.K. will increase their military assistance to Taiwan, and Taiwan is likely to gain access to more advanced technologies and weapons equipment. The next-generation light frigate is just the beginning of this trend.